Hi, my name is Abel Gray Kartoma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. Um, if you are watching this video at this moment, uh, I want to tell you a very big thank you for uh, purchasing this course. Uh, we promise uh, that this course is going to cover the steel roof truss settings and insertion modeling of cantilever steel truss modeling of steel tank modeling of steel roof uh, for your workshop modeling of telecommunication mass uh, how to insert your pro lines your life dead and wind loads on cladding uh, your wind loads okay uh, on your cladding yeah and then your the design itself and then the steel connection insertion the steel detailing and then the reinforced concrete building design uh, with your steel roof okay so we are actually going to be covering the whole of this um, let's jump right into the uh, proto structure itself uh, I'm going to be giving you an overview of what uh, the Prota still actually looks like okay so uh, let's say I open this particular project okay it's loading okay so you can see this is actually a steel model which uh, was done on the Prota structure so this is the model uh, when you want to do your steel design uh, you first of all do your modeling in your proto structure okay by the time you model on the proto structure before you now actually analyze that model design that model then you actually run your connections in your proto steel okay so this is a model which i did in the proto structure itself and then uh, it was analyzed as you can see the building analysis is up to date and then uh, if i come to my drawings and reports if i click on my proto steel it's actually going to load in the proto steel in order for me to actually run or add the connections for all of these steel members and then we are actually going to as well uh, learn how to generate our connections uh, reports uh, and then how to blow some of uh, the connections uh, to show proper in some uh, in our details we are going to be demonstrating that okay as well so like we said from the beginning uh, it's going to cover a very wide range of uh, a very wide range of it's going to be covering a very wide range of uh, steel models okay which we are going to be demonstrating different kind of steel models we'll analyze them and we'll also uh, design them in our proto steel okay so uh, once you have done your modeling and, and you have done the analysis and the design it brings you to the prota uh, still as you can see here um, and then we try to create some we are trying to blow some part of uh, these connections as you can see this as well this as well so our detailing is already fully ready which we did already from uh, the prota uh, steel so uh, sorry I'll come back uh, Okay, 
so i will as well be showing you how to actually create some of uh, these views uh, we're going to be adding some new views uh, in our training Okay, so this is more like the cross section as well. We will be demonstrating all of this. Uh, so we can just actually give this a name. Uh, so we can call it a cross section. So, so if I come to my reports, all of this detailed drawing, I'm going to open them. right um, so once that is done if I close this you can see some of uh, the detailing that has been generated uh, by this software so I actually did not generate uh, the entire detail I just selected some part of uh, the detailing uh, but I can as well go back and select every other aspect of this detailing and open the drawings okay so I'll close you can see that has been generated for me okay So similarly, I can as well create a viewport for this, you can see here. Uh, so whichever number of views that I generated, I can actually uh, create those viewports here so that I can have all of them positioned here. So uh, let's say I come back to my 3D uh, model view if i come to my model view okay. um, so whichever area i want to really really capture let's say i want to capture this uh, mezzanine floor here i can capture that area as well and uh, using the view by two points so I click here I click here as well so now I can see this part uh, let's see this one okay go and capture it uh, here uh, let's see I name this one I think I'm here I'll name it Mezzeline. So if I go back to my drawings, I have my mezzeline here. I can create a viewport for this, but I can as well go back uh, to my 3D model view. 3d view uh, let's see if I have anything I want to add here I 
okay let's say i want to capture this particular connection here okay so to capture this connection let's say i use this so i'll close this first close okay let me just so i'll highlight this portion where i want to sorry highlight this portion and uh, i will give this a name Because you can see I've already created that connection and gusset plate, base plate and all of that. So uh yes, let me call this guts new. Let me just give it a name. I'll add then I will select if the secondary object. A secondary member okay so I have created now I want to view the detail for this so let's come back to this mess okay now you can see it's captured uh, let's come back to our drawing okay I'm going to take it off Yes, this creates viewports. Now you can see it's been uh, captured. So uh, I will just create a detail. So it's going to generate detailing for uh, all of these areas that I that are highlighted you can see these are the connections for it has named this as a base plate as a tr uh, gusset truss as a guards new that's the name i get i gave to this as a base plate here okay and these are the details okay so we are actually going to go through all of this in the course of this training i will show you all of this and uh, as well going to generate our report for our connections uh, you can view and check uh, from here you'll be able to tell which of the connections have really passed the connections that have failed the connections that are unrelated and uh, unchecked okay so you can see these are unchecked uh, this has passed uh, these ones that are yellow are unchecked so any one that is giving you a red indication is telling you it has failed then the white is actually on uh, related okay So, uh, so basically, this is an overview of what uh, Prota structure, uh, Prota steel can actually do, and we can as well even uh, generate a report. We can change the cross section or change the thickness of any of our connections from here. We can as well generate a report. For any of this connection now you can see this connection it's actually showing us green that means it has passed I can as well create a report for this connection if I come back here uh, uh, okay this is it now this is the report that has been generated for that particular connection I can as well print 
this report if I like so um, basically this is just an overview of what we are actually going to be covering in our steel design we are actually going to learn how to insert all of these connections you can see how to create a base plate uh, how to insert an anchor bolt okay all of this your guards uh, your brace your pull line your steel truss and your portal frame we are going to be covering that how to have a handrail you can see we inserted the handrail and uh, the connections for our handrail uh, we are going to be seeing all of that uh, in the course of uh, this training all right so in the next uh, episode we will be uh, actually model a steel roof truss uh, we are going to be doing a cantilever steel truss okay so that is the first model which we are going to be considering and uh, then before we go to the steel tank then we'll go to a workshop design we'll design a workshop uh, we'll model a workshop uh, then we'll go into our telecommunication mass okay so uh, with these few examples that we will cover it's enough for you to have uh, an overview or, or it's a good foundation for you to actually build on like you know most of the steel designs you see are actually either we are having a workshop uh, or a church building it's very similar whether it's a church a workshop they are very very similar uh, that's when you talk about roof generally uh, so they come in different shapes whether it's a truss or is a portal frame then uh, you see most of steel designs are also all we'll deal with like your tank okay then we will be covering a cantilever steel truss like a shade okay like a stand like a steel stand or a shade or a car park more like that so they are very very uh, similar then the telecommunication uh, mass we are going to be seeing how we will demonstrate uh, all of that okay so let's uh, jump right into the next episode for this